Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Brigandine Legend of Force United. I am your host, Valkus Lamari. Let's get started. There's been some changes off screen. Um, Garant. He is now a Shogun. He's level 20. I did not evolve him last episode, which didn't matter anyway, but still. He is now evolved. A little bit more powerful there. Uh, filled up some extra slots here with Lance and this main team here. I definitely can't summon anything else. Um, to fill up any more slots. I think everybody's full. If I remember correctly from the tasks off screen, yes, all of them are full. Gave Cortina her monsters. This team is full as well. She can hold another ghoul, actually. Or a scorpion. Can I summon a ghoul here? Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, no, not a problem. We're definitely going to be going down this way, attacking Ultron. And there was one other phase that took place. Uh, Esgaris invaded Norgard uh, from Lydney to Jukes and debilitated Bennard a little bit, got rid of some of his monsters and the others. And I think they completely wrecked these guys. So I think Norgard had the advantage, even though Solisle is a very awesome rune knight. You can actually get him if you get uh, Shootless, which is the very first night, which I didn't get, but I think I'll make sure I'll get him with every other country from now on. But anyway, too much chit chat. Let's go ahead and let's look at the location there, actually, before we execute the uh, move phase. Orkney only has two, so I'm going to send probably Cortina over there. Lufo can go on a quest. So, let's see. She's over here. Let's move her. Don't need four knights there. But we need a full team there for sure. If we lose that castle, we're in trouble. Uh, let's see. Who is here? Alicia Baticus. Lufo's there too? Someone's going on a quest. It's going to be Lufo. Now, Legale is still out on a quest as well. When those three knights return, it'll be another team that I can use to defend with. I just have to make sure I uh, fill up her slots with uh, monsters. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and press the advantage towards Ezekiris in the middle. So, let's see. We're making some good headway. You know what? I have not checked the domain since, like, episode four or something. Look at where we're at. Not too shabby, man. Let's expand a little bit more. Okay, so everybody's in place. Let's execute the move and set up some attacks here. Let's see what we're up against. Old Trout, Esmeri, Shiraha, there's the ninja, Rokot. Not a bad team. I think they can handle it. It's going to be a good fight but I think we'll be okay. I can't remember how the terrain is set out attacking from there to there. It looks like it might be a little bit rough in forest. We might actually get trapped in some forest starting out, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you're staying put. You are going to invade Jukes, maybe. Banner's still there. Kirkmon, Noe. I can take it. It won't be a problem. Question is, which battle is going to go first? I'd like to put two battles in one episode if I can fit it, but I probably won't be able to. Okay, so let me save the game off screen. I'll be right back with you. Alright, I am back, we're all saved, let's go ahead and execute the attack. Who's going first? I kinda figured. Alright, battle of jukes everybody. Here we go. Main team, deploy. And 
we are seeing a lot of Vaynerd in this in this playthrough. I expected to, but man, more than I actually thought. Okay, they are extremely close. So, a monster to bait with. I probably won't even need to. If I can get my rune area close enough, they should come towards me. So let us form a wall. Good, good, good. Mm, yeah, you can go here. Perfectly fine. This is a good spot for you. Question is, is it going to be enough movement? Probably not. But it's okay. If I can get my formation set up, then uh, it'll be all good. Okay, let's see. Form up. Remember, uh, not all your physical monsters have to stay in front or even the second row. Hellhounds, they can move in and move back out. The hit and run is very useful. Alright, still getting formation here. So, all right, we're gonna have to inch our way towards them. Make a move. Do something. I'm two spaces away from you. Thank you. All right. Are you gonna be stupid and move in? At a girl. However. <laughs> Oh, man. Some things... Some things in life you just don't do. Let's see. How many times can I get her surrounded? Three times. And I can do a pop shot with the centaur. Hmm. Interesting. I should be able to anyway. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Correct. I'm going to let you take the first shot. Nope, go that way. This is important. I don't know if they'll retreat after this or not. They probably will. Got too many monsters. That, yep. I thought that would do it. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't back up. Alright, so let's start getting a few more hits in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Ground against flying. Always remember that ground units uh, are more unlikely to hit flying units. So you have that advantage there. Like here again. He might even miss. Yeah. Whatever. It's been a successful battle. Yep, I saw it coming. Okay, so. More magic. Halo. Let's use that on the pixie. So she can cast a spell, get extra experience from Halo. One point times 1.5 extra. Protect on him, because it doesn't matter. If you ever get bored with my uh, shenanigans here of getting extra experience, just fast forward. Let's see. 
everybody else can end, and the battle's over. I think we can put that second battle in. Should be plenty of time. Okay, first victory. No problem. Uh-oh. They're making their way north. This guy is going to be hard to take out. They've been, uh, they've been doing very well against three different countries at once. Okay, so we're caught in a little bit of a forest. There's water right next to us. This terrain is a little bit rough. However, they have it kind of rough down there, too. Um, let's see. Can I bait? I could. <laughs> the gin abuse. Uh, but he's level 4. I'm not going to use any bait. Okay, let's just start moving. Because they're never going to come to me. I've got to go to them. The demon's going to have to move. She has a curse ability that hits really hard within two spaces. Venom is a decent black magic attack that can poison you potentially. That's within three spaces. Hmm. I could pop the initiative, but let me check the levels here. He's 15, he's 13, he's 11. Okay, so it's going to go Glaws, Shiraha will go after him, and then Bruce. Mm. Shiraha's got hit and run. And ranged attack with Kunai. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, let's keep inching. Because if I damage this front line here, he can just stay put and potentially heal it. Yep. Yeah. Let's just inch. This is so ridiculous. I don't enjoy doing this, but... <laughs> It works. Most of the time. Look at you slipping into the forest. Jerk. It's gonna be really hard to hit him. <laughs> Samurai shouldn't have a problem. But everybody else... Yep. If it's not magic, that is. Okay, I've got to take out that demon. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's see. I want to get the kill with Brusum. Let's go ahead and damage the demon with a white. Jin can move in and hit for two. Actually, he won't need to. Because this should do it, I hope. Please be powerful enough. Thank you. Nice kill. He's almost an expert in samurai. I don't plan on changing its class, but still. You have that capability if you want to do it. Oh, Jin. What do I want to do with you? Not putting you out in front, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's put you here. That's the disadvantage of putting flying monsters though inside the forest. They don't they don't get the bonus, because they're flying over the trees. Alright. Starting to move. Oh, you hit and run, jerk. Oh goodness. Actually this is good. The leader moved up in front. This might be an opportunity. We shall see. There's not a lot of space, though, to go around. Plus, he can heal. Um, I, 
can get a pop shot with the centaur. Alright, Carlota, I want you to go here so you can be in range for heals and frost. This dragon, <laughs> goodness gracious, needs to get up in there. You can go to the forest, which is great. Attack a white. It does hurt a lot. <laughs> but, oh well. Oh, man. Just out of range. Let's go up here. Okay, Esmery. Make your move. The wife of Zemeckis. Yep. The Emperor of the Esgaris Empire. Definitely read the backstories of these characters whenever you get a chance. Very interesting to read these. Very fun to read these two. And all of these are on the uh, Facebook community page. So check that out if you get a chance as well. Perfect spot for an acid breath, right on the line right there. Does anybody need healing? Maybe the golem, or one of these two. Probably the griffin. However, the golem is surrounded. Now, let's give it to the griffin. We can protect the golem with the pixie. Or I can try to silence Roacod from doing heals. But I think Protect is more worth it. Because he can get healed anyway. As Marie just came into range. Not too bad. Gotta keep your wits about you on this battle, man. It's definitely very even. Why are you attacking that way? Go that way. Three in a row. He's definitely going to get healed next next turn, whenever they have a chance. Okay, need you to hit. Oh, man. Golems are powerful, man, but goodness. I just don't like using them a lot, for the simple fact of the accuracy. It's very, very risky with those guys. Why would you even think about doing that? You tried to paralyze something that is a rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. I even s explained this earlier in uh, probably episode 2 when they tried to, like, uh, what was it, poison? I think it was poisoning uh, the rock golem. It's not going to work. In organic material, you can't do that stuff. Let's see. <laughs> Interesting predicament. Let's go here. Scorpion might be able to kill the ghoul. I don't know. Yeah. I don't usually trust the damage on those guys, but, I mean, he was high enough level. Let's try to get a Paralyze. Come on. Ah, such a low chance. But when it works, it is very much worth it. Very debilitating to the enemy. That's all we can do right now. I sense a heal coming <laughs> for that griffin. Yep. And 
there should be a heal coming for Roacod. Yeah, there, there he goes. It's cool. Hmm. What does Geno Frost look like? We have one, two, three units in range. Eh, it's not terrible. They're powerful units plus a leader. And then one might die in the process. Actually, this is good. Let's go here. Set myself up for an acid breath, potentially. Geno Frost will definitely kill the Griffin. Let's try to get you in the water next turn. No, 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 no. What are you thinking? Uh, need more physical. Uh, or more tanky units on this team. Alright. Yep, that killed the griffin. I'm happy with that. Some good experience, too. Should put her up to 10. Yep, there she goes. Holy word, this is the biggest area attack in the game. A lot less powerful, but still very, very annoying. The damage is decent. <laughs> Definitely not as, power as, as powerful as the Chinos, but, yep, there's Venom, Poison the Dragon. Good old Air Storm, right down the line to my leader, don't like that at all. God, we have got to take out a leader. If it's going to be anybody, it's going to be Roacod. <clears throat> hmm. Let's do an Acid Breath first. I might be able to move the Golem out of the way. Or, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. It might be better to do... a Terror Jaw. Because that'll bring him down almost to nothing. And then Gloss should be able to get the kill, even though it's resistant damage. Let's try it. Yeah. That should be enough. Okay, let's move this golem out of the way. And attack a scorpion while we're at it. Definitely shouldn't miss those things. They're huge. Okay, man. <laughs> I'm counting on this. I think you just did. No monsters captured, which is fine. Those things were weak. Let's... Hmm. Let's heal up the dragon. And we'll put a protect on Gloss. I've only used one protect, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, only one. And you can have protect. Fantastic. Guys, I think we have two successful battles in one episode. This is incredible. Love it. Alright, can we get some more experience out of this? Let me see. Can I kill off the Wyvern with Bruce? Where can you go, first of all? Only one spot. Hmm. You can go around, can't you? Yes, but you will be out of the rune area. Mm. It's okay. I'll do it. Mm, it might not be enough. Actually, does the djinn have some MP left? No, he does not. 
Oh man, I could have gotten it. That's all right. If he would have crit, I would have gotten it. No problem. Get back in your rune area. You. Go here. We're just passing the time at this point. And you can retreat, because you are completely useless at this point. But he's halfway to ten. Could have an evolution pretty soon. Okay, Carlota. You can get the kill. Why not? Bam. Two levels for her. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm screwing these dudes up today, man. Last three episodes have been very successful. I think since I took Georgia, <laughs> it's been all gravy from there. And they're gone. Guys, thank you so much, once again, for joining me. It has been such a pleasure bringing you this playthrough. Cannot wait to get to the other countries. That's going to be so much fun. Especially now that I can play as Asgur's Empire. New quest? Ah, oh, yes, I remember this one. This one is ridiculous, actually. But it's good for a physical fighter. It's pretty funny, actually, to me. <laughs> grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Look at that sentence. Legato lost all sense of reality and gave up all hope. What a depressing game. That poor dude that had that sandstone for 20 years. She only had it for 7 days. Oh man. Nice. An archer can definitely make use of that. back guys that's it for me uh, episode 8 two battles in one two really successful battles we breezed right through that so continue to join me for episode 9 <laughs> I'm losing count here episode 9 of new Almikia's campaign uh, I am your host Valkus Lunari please check the game facts link below along with the Facebook community I will catch you later take care <laughs>